Hey guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about my new iron supplement that I'm trying. So for the longest time I've been taking spleen and kind of just trying to do a lot of red meat and doing um, liver and stuff like that, trying to up my iron that way. But I am still anemic it seems and really the reason is I have really, really heavy menstrual flow and I'm still trying to figure out why that increased. Now I have to I have to talk about something here before I get into my supplement because when I for some reason when I started eating animal products again and more fats and stuff that's when my flow got really 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 heavy and that's when my anemia got my doctor quote, quote unquote said it's the worst it's the lowest I've ever been in my life. So that's including like all my vegan pregnancies and um, yeah, I'll, my whole vegan journey, like every time I've ever been tested, it's always been super low. So I'm really trying to figure out why is my flow so heavy? Why did it increase when I started eating meat again? Because I just thought, oh, I'll just eat more meat and then I should be able to handle it. I even made a video that says red meat heals women. And in that video, I state that my anemia is the worst it's ever been in my life. And I don't quite, I didn't quite understand it then. I don't quite understand it now. So something I've just been trying, because I'll try anything <laughs> to resolve these issues, is I've been trying non-heme iron sources. Now, I don't know if it's something about heme that maybe makes your, your bleeding heavier. I, I have no idea, but it's just something I'm giving it a shot. So I finally found a supplement that I like that is non-heme iron and it does not make you constipated, which I like. And so the cool thing about this one, it's by um, My Kind, oh, Garden of Life, My Kind Organics. And um, the ingredients are pretty decent, I would say, like they're pretty long here, but they're mostly like plants and um, yeah, just different extracts. The one thing that is not really like quote unquote natural is glycerin. And I think the reason they put that in is so that you don't get constipated. I'm cool with that because it's pretty low down on the list. And this is what I like about this supplement. The B, uh, no, not B12, the iron is from organic Bergera coenigi leaf. So it's actually, it's not from rocks crushed up into pieces and then put into your supplement. It's actually taken from a plant, which I think if, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the curry plant and they've taken the iron out of that and you get 10 milligrams. I've been taking double that because we know plant iron is not as absorbable and I'm anemic. So personally, I've been taking double. This is not health advice though. You do whatever your practitioner tells you to do, but that's what I've been doing. It also has B12, which is taken from S. cerevisiae, which is, I believe, a bacteria, and B6, which is also from that same bacteria, vitamin C from different fruit, um, and then the iron, and then ashwagandha, I, I hear people talking about that all the time. I don't know what it does or what, but anyway, it's in there. And it's all from natural sources, which I really like. It was really, really hard to find an iron that isn't crushed up rock dust, you know, into a pill. I just don't feel like that's very absorbable. And I also don't feel like, um, it, it, you know, it could cause problems or maybe make you constipated or whatever, but this seems to be really good. And then the rest is all just like tons of different, you know, um, vegetable blend, organic strawberry, tart, cherry, beet, broccoli, like just different things. And you're just taking like a tiny, tiny little bit, like 10 milliliter ca um, capful. So it's not much, but I have I do think it's effective because I do, I tend to pay attention to my lips and my lips are not as pale since I've been taking it twice a day, kind of like the spleen. Um, I used to take the spleen twice a day and I'll, I'm going to say it made my lips red, but then they became white again. And I'm trying to figure out why is that? Why is my body just like, no, I'm not taking this iron. Uh, so I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, I've been doing it for about a week now. 
and I'll keep you guys updated, but I wanted to tell you about this cool product. Um, and yeah, I'll, I will keep you guys, um, informed about my progress.